Hi, this is Almiru Oosthuizen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine and I'm being assisted today by Emmanuel Ahiable, also of Cape Town Emergency Medicine. This will be part one in our two video series on anterior shoulder dislocation and the technique for reduction of anterior shoulder dislocation. The first important principle to realize is that any bone or joint injury should be thought of as a massive soft tissue injury that happens to have a broken bone or joint in the middle of it. It's therefore critically important not to forget to evaluate the soft tissue elements surrounding the injury, specifically the neurovascular status. The second important principle is that anterior shoulder dislocation can be an extremely painful condition and early attention to good analgesia and gentle manipulation and handling of the patient is of paramount importance. Let's talk about the mechanism of injury. Anterior shoulder dislocation is usually caused by forcible external rotation, abduction and often extension of the shoulder such as shown here. External rotation, abduction and sometimes extension beyond the midline. This will cause a twisting release of the head of the humerus outside of the glenoid that will then purge in front of the glenoid and beneath the coracoid bone. The second thing to talk about is how these patients present. In essence, they present with a very painful shoulder after having had an injury. The shoulder is often held across the body, as Emmanuel is shown here, and the patients are very anxious for the shoulder not to be moved and usually won't attempt any movement of the arm in a fear of aggravating their pain. Another feature of presentation that is often mentioned is the gun stock deformity. Normally, the deltoid curve is a convex curve. However, when the head of the humerus is dislocated inferiorly and anteriorly, the convexity of the shoulder can be lost, leaving a straight profile or even a concave profile where the deltoid used to be. Once you have a suspicion of a dislocated shoulder, neurovascular evaluation of the limb is incredibly important. Starting with the vascular evaluation, make sure to check all the pulses. The radial pulse, the brachial pulse, and also look for evidence of sufficient perfusion in the hand, like delayed capillary refill time, and just how the limb feels, is it cold, and does it look hyperperfused or not. Once the arterial status has been evaluated, move on to a neurological evaluation. I usually start with sensation. Start by testing the radial, medial, and ulnar sensory zones, and also be careful to test the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve curves around the head of the humerus and may be damaged during anterior shoulder dislocation, leaving a patch of hypoesthesia over the lateral aspect of the deltoid here, often referred to as the admiral's patch. An essential part of the sensory evaluation of the upper limb after shoulder dislocation is to test and document sensory function over the admiral's patch area. Lastly, evaluate the motor function. Here, just simply ask the patient to extend and flex the wrist, open and close the fingers, and to oppose the thumb to the index and the little finger. You can also stabilize the upper arm and ask the patient if they could extend and flex their elbow as far as they can without pain. Once you have tested the neurovascular function of the upper limb, it's critically important to document it and to re-evaluate after any further manipulation of the shoulder joint. After clinical evaluation of the shoulder joint, once the patient is comfortable, you should consider an X-ray or radiological evaluation of the shoulder. As a general rule, all first-time dislocations and everyone with a high energy mechanism must have a pre-reduction X-ray done unless there is vascular compromise mandating immediate reduction. In some patients with recurrent injuries and low energy mechanisms, you can defer the pre-reduction X-ray. That's it for our initial evaluation of the anterior shoulder dislocation. In part two, we will talk about reduction of the shoulder. Thank you.